In the language of our people, we welcome you to Dalek Land. It is my great pleasure to congratulate all the finalists in the 2020 Zest Awards. Hi there and welcome to Zest 2020. Of course it's the 10th year of Zest and we finally got there after a few curveballs this year, Chris. Yeah, but Tom, you're a creative director, you know, you're, you're, you'd handle curveballs all the time. I'm Chris Bath, by the way, very happy to be back to do the Zest Awards. And you know what, if anybody can make stuff happen, you can. Oh, thank you, Chris. It's definitely been an interesting one and we've been a little bit sneaky this year to surprise each and every one of our winners. Yeah, I've heard about these sneaky Zoom meetings where you lured people in and I assume it's no different for, for this award, which is the outstanding project promoting social cohesion and community Harmony. Tell us what this award recognises, Tom. So this award is all about the region and what makes it great. And of course, Western Sydney has a reputation for its diversity and how we bring diverse communities together. That's what this award's all about, Chris, the way that not-for-profit organisations build on that and give people that sense of belonging within the community. The other thing that the Zest Awards do is bring supporters together and I know there are many, many admirers. One of them is the Honourable Sarah Mitchell. She's the New South Wales Minister for Education and Early Childhood Learning. Let's hear what she has to say about this award. Hi everyone, my name's Sarah Mitchell and I'm the Minister for Education and Early Childhood Learning in New South Wales. And I feel very privileged to have been asked by the Western Sydney Community Forum to be a part of the celebrations for the Zest Awards this year. The Zest Awards recognise everything that's great about Western Sydney, that real sense of pride and passion that you all have in your local community. And over the last 10 years, more than a thousand individuals and community groups have been recognised through these awards. And this year, we add even more worthy recipients to that list. So congratulations to all of the nominees and the winners. You're very deserving of these accolades and I wish you all the best. Thank you again, Minister. Now, Tom, I feel like a broken record saying this, but I don't know how the judges do it. It must have been tough to pick a winner this time around. Look, it, it definitely was. And hats off to our judging panel. I mean, this category is always competitive and 21 projects were up for nomination this year. Now, it was amazing to see all the innovative ways that people went about their work. And there was definitely a fine margin separating our winners from the other nominees. I know there were a couple of projects that received highly commended. So let's see who they are. The first highly commended award goes to Go Active. And the second highly commended award goes to Park Lawn Placemakers. Congratulations to both Go Active and Park Lawn Placemakers. Now, we have two winners this year, Tom, mm -hmm. for this category. Let's see the moment that the Minister tells one of them the news. I think it sounds amazing and um, congratulations, as I said, to everyone who's involved in it. It's exciting, I think, to hear, um, not just from you, Madam Mayor, but also um, from, from the students of Akram and Barrage to tell us what it means to you. Because as I said, as a parliamentarian myself, it's really lovely to think that the next generation of leaders are coming through this project that you're doing. But I also have some news for you all because um, I'm also here, in fact, to know that you have won the award that you have nominated for. So it's the outstanding... <laughs> Uh, and Community Harmony Award for Zest 2020. Um, you are the proud recipients of that in the 2168 Children's Parliament. So congratulations, I'm so excited for you. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Kids, you, um, it's a wonderful program and actually being a little part of it, I actually learned more from you um, in this program than I would from any other experience. You're um, incredible kids and you're really insightful and you're making a wonderful contribution and it's very, very important, the work that you are doing. So thank you so much. You're very deserving winners. I absolutely loved April and Virag's reaction when they found out they'd won the award, Chris. It was something really special. Yeah, it was. And look, of course, the Children's Parliament is a group effort, a group effort between Liverpool City Council, the Department of Education, and also Mission Australia. So well done to each and every one of the partners. But we've got some of the stars of the show here today. We've got some of the children from each of the public schools involved who've been involved in the project. Welcome to you all. Yes, welcome all of you. I, I have to ask, what did your friends in the parliament think when you told them that you'd won a Zest Award? 
Oh, well, we didn't tell them that we won the sister awards because we were told to keep it a secret. Oh, you're way too modest. How excited were you? Oh, I was so close to telling everybody because I was so excited. And I always made it, like, I always tried to block it and, like, try to get away from the subject before I actually told them. <laughs> that, that's fantastic. And thanks again for keeping that secret. So what is the coolest thing that the parliament has done so far, do you think? Um, well, there's a lot of cool things, but one of the coolest things is learning about the rights and learning about all the problems for like, for example, poverty and racism. Not only that, like learning how to make speeches and there's so much more. What, what do you want to see the parliament achieve for 2168? We've customised bridges and we've impacted lots of lives and we've changed people's lives and made people way more happier than what they used to be. How have you done that? The park, we've... There used to be lots of rubbish there and kids didn't really like going to that park but when we made speeches and we've changed lives and now the park is way more cleaner and people actually go there to sit down, relax and have their free time. Uh, good on you. It's absolutely fantastic the work they're doing, Chris. And I just wanted to say congratulations to all of you and thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks guys. And of course, uh, to wrap up, Again, echo that congratulations to our winners, uh, along with our other nominees, of course, this year. And of course, a big thank you to Minister Sarah Mitchell for your support of Zest 2020. And look, if you found this episode inspiring, make sure you share it on social media and get this story out there. This episode is one of many that celebrates the extraordinary work that's happening within Western Sydney. So make sure you check out the others. That's it from this episode. Hope you can join us for the next one.